Okay, well, for Final Cut Pro, um, obviously, my task cam no longer worked with that because Final Cut Pro 10 stopped dealing with MIDI the, the, the way it used to. Um, so I was relegated to, again, just using the mouse to, to do stuff, or, or I could still use the, the Shuttle Express for that because it also lets you jog and that, which I, I was using this quite often. Uh, after I got the, the Behringer, actually before I even bought the Behringer x Touch, I discovered there was a program that someone had made called MIDI Stroke. And this was actually designed for use of being able to have control surfaces and other keyboards that had other buttons and stuff. You can program them to function a certain way with other, other applications. And so all I had to do was select which um, which device it would, that I wanted to control it with, and I did that. So therefore, now, when I am wanting to uh, to control Final Cut Pro, I can just use the buttons that are available here. And um, obviously, on this layout here, you have all these programmable buttons for doing music, and obviously these are all for that. Um, you have like marker, nudge, cycle, drop, replace, click, solo. Obviously, none of that would have applied to Final Cut Pro 10. But these buttons still function and, and can control things within Final Cut Pro 10. And I discovered um, which they were by just trial and error, and then I created a little, little overlay template that I put on top of it. And these this labels everything that I want to use. Like it's got, um, you know, select, blade, trim, you know, hand position, blade all, zoom, um, uh, match color, render selection, a, a lot of these, everything one of these has some sort of control. Um, I can also use these, these uh, arrow keys to either expand or contract my view of the, the timeline. Um, I can still use my jog shuttle wheel to control What's, what's happening? It gives you a little more control. Again, I just prefer having this kind of kind of tactile response and control over things when I'm working. So it, it doesn't really repla replace because you can do everything. You can do you can, you can do all that stuff on the keyboard itself. I mean, I can go backwards. I can go forwards. I can I can you know I can do this. I can use the arrow keys to do the jog and shuttle, but it's not the same feel. Um, this is just I like to have that total control right there and. I stop, it stops. When I, when I move it, it moves. Um, here I have to hold it down and it goes kind of slow. You know, it's in, you anyway. uh, So again, it's not really necessarily replaced. It, it doesn't do uniquely something that, that other things can't do. It just makes it a little easier to touch and to, to, to grab. So, all right, well, that's pretty much how I use this in conjunction with Final Cut Pro 10.